What's going on guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode where we're going to be checking out the 2020 Hot Wheels City 5-Pack. Yes, another great 5-Pack for some really, really nice looking cars. We'll have a quick look here. Wow, such a great range of cars. How cool is the baseline? Yes, very nice. And on the side there of the packaging we have that a picture of some uh, Hot Wheels play sets and track sets and such like that. Uh, quick look at the rest of the packaging. Yes, we saw all of that. Uh, barcode. Wow, very cool. And here we go. Here is the back. And you can see that there is quite a few play sets in there. So do you have any of these? Do you have any of those play sets that you can see in this picture? Uh, very, very nice. I do like how they put all of these play sets together into one big massive Hot Wheels city. Very, very cool. Uh, Robo Beasts. Uh, taking over, grab your cars and save Hot Wheels City. Yes, and this pack includes the Baseline, Brit Speed, Diesel Boy, Scooper de Fuego and Two Timer. Wow, and there's some extra mumbo jumbo. You can pause and read that if you wish. Uh, I've already sliced the top so we can get in nice and quick. All right, check these out. All right, we'll have a quick look at the cars and they'll go into a nice close-up detailing view of them. Wow, that looks really nice, that. Wow, what a great looking set of cars. That's very cool. And yes, we'll start with the baseline. Wow, this is really, really nice. It even has that kind of uh, stereo style uh, beats going along on the side there. That looks really, really cool. And this one here, as you know, has all of the subwoofers in the back for maximum bass. Wow, how cool. Uh, this is a plastic body with a metal base as well. And you can see the front there has that section of the grill, which is part of the base. Very, very nice. Uh, no headlight details. Do you get a yellow window with a chrome interior. And this very, very cool side tampo there. I do quite like the look of that. Yes, and the nice metallic light blue aero disc wheels. Wow, that just looks awesome. I like that. A uh, big giant wing off the back there. And as we said, we've got multiple subwoofers in the back. Very, very cool. Uh, no rear taillight details, but it does have the little tab area for the base to click in, which also adds into the license plate area. I do like that design, very, very happy with that. And the tempo on this side is the same as the other side. Wow, what a cool looking car. And there is the base as well for you. Baseline, yes, awesome. Number two is the Brit Speed. And this is in a fire brigade design. Wow, that is pretty awesome. That's cool, it's got the uh, straight 12 or a V12 engine in there. You can see the six exhausts on that side and on that side there too. Big huge radiator grill on the front with the Hot Wheels logo there as well. Wow that's pretty nice. And it's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, like a kind of like a sand color side arches and side skirts. Pretty awesome. Steely wheels with the chrome trim. Very nice. Nice red paint job though, I like the look of that. And there we go, we have the fire brigade on the top with some white and gold pinstriping. Very nice. Uh, right hand drive, very good to see. Should hope so, being called the Brit Speed. And yeah, it's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, kind of like one of those old school race cars, like uh, the 1920s style or whatever it was, 1930s kind of car, like using the old engine fuselage from fighter jets and such like that. So yeah, I do quite like the look of that. It's got a transparent plastic piece there, so you can see into the engine a little bit better. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but yeah. Nice, I do quite like the look of that. Very nice. And there we go, there's the base for you as well. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool, I have to, have to say that one is, is really nice actually. Next up we have the Diesel Boy. Yeah. <laughs> what a crazy looking vehicle this one is. The front end of this always reminds me of a Volkswagen Beetle. 
uh, with the round headlights and such like that. It's got that big engine in the front there. Wow, big blue engine. It's also got the little Hot Wheels logo on the engine. That's nice. Uh, crazy red tornado style wheels. Uh, some extra bits and pieces in the car in there. I don't know if that's actually exhaust or anything like that. Not entirely sure. Could just be uh, some suspension. I've uh, got the blue window with a blue interior. And this one here is also right hand drive. That's awesome. Cool. And this is in the Hot Wheels mail delivery colors. Wow, I did not notice that before. That is pretty awesome. So yeah, that's the white body. And say a, a matte white with the red and blue stripes. Very nice with the uh, Hot Wheels mail on the back. That's pretty cool. And there's the back there for you as well. And this side here is the same as the other side by the looks of it. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool, I like that. I like that one quite a lot. Um, here is the base for you all as well. There you go, Diesel Boy. Awesome, wow, pretty cool. Next up is the Scooper de Fuego. Wow, this is in a uh, just a flat blue paint job. Uh, there's no gloss in that at all. It's just a flat, no clear over it by the looks of it. Some grey five-star wheels or double-star wheels. Uh, this is also in the police livery. That's pretty awesome. There you go. You can see police on the side there. Has the police badge with the Hot Wheels logo. So there's the Hot Wheels police car and some black, white, and red stripes also along the side here and up there over the engine scoops that is pretty cool this is a pretty nice looking car there's the front grille section there has a real batmobile style to it i think that looks pretty cool i uh, don't know how you'd be able to see out of the window there uh, that'd be kind of hard to see out of the window it'd be such a low seating position but still pretty cool and it also has some uh, pipes painted in black on the top there Oh no, wait, sorry. No, that's a piece of the window. That's actually clear. That's a part of the window piece. So that's pretty awesome. Have the vents going into the actual engine. There we go, have more of the window piece in the back there for the rear brakes and such. Cool. A rear diffuser set up too. Wow, that is pretty awesome looking. I will have to admit that's really cool as well. And here is the base for you, Scooper de Fuego. It's got some extra designs on the base there too. That is pretty cool. This is a pretty good pack, I have to admit. And the last car is the two-timer. And this is in a taxi livery. Nice bright yellow body with the taxi livery. Uh, this is also a plastic body with a metal base. Uh, this one is a metal body, plastic base, metal body, plastic base, uh, metal body. Uh, plastic side parts and a plastic base and we saw that that was a plastic body with a metal base also so there we go just thought I'd run that through quickly uh, this one has a chrome grille setup and headlight setup big front splitter on the front there you see the size of that that's pretty awesome white five spoke wheels has the engine coming out of the top there wow that is awesome I like the look of that uh, some cut out section there to show some of the uh, the racing design I assume and uh, yeah I think that's supposed to be side exit exhaust there maybe not entirely sure a uh, chrome interior with a blue window lots of aerodynamic sections coming off this the kind of everywhere uh, big giant double wing off the back and it seems to be extended out the back there too some black and red with white stripings and you can see the taxi on the side there that is pretty awesome it's also got some blue striping just there and in the back it seems to have more engine <laughs> wow more engine and uh, five exhausts out the back and it's a, a chrome bumper out the back there too pretty crazy looking wing setup on this as well I have to say and uh, there we go, there's that side too, similar to the other side. Very, very cool. So yeah, how crazy looking does that look? All right, we'll turn it over. We'll check out the base. Uh, Two-timer, and there's some extra information you can kind of 
see where it all is. Might have to pause it to see if you want to get exact uh, details from that. Uh, but there we go guys, what do you reckon of that? The 2020 Hot Wheels City 5 pack, chuck the box up there. Uh, yeah, let me know, put your comments down below. I'd love to know what you guys think of these packs, uh, especially when they're fantasy castings, because uh, some fantasy castings are really creative and I do quite enjoy them. So this is actually a pretty good example of some of those uh, fantasy castings that can still be very, very awesome to collect. So yeah, please let me know what you think. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll see you all then.